Hello, welcome to Mini Adventures. This is a podcast episode. Please, before you watch this episode, go look into the description. We have Mini Adventure jackets, Mini Adventure shirts, Mini Adventure sticker. Um, we have a sticker? Yeah, there is a sticker. Oh, damn, I'll buy that. Shh, dude, this is a commercial. You're not supposed to be able to talk. I... I would love to say that, but just, I don't know, like, for me right now, I'd say you are absolutely the closest to me. Like, personally, you're my closest friend. Like, Rainy is my, you're my best friend, my best guy friend. Rainy is my best friend as a girl. After that, like, after you, it would be like, Brandon Carroll, then it would be like, George Mossner, like yeah. people that I've known for like all my fucking life being here and so um I don't know it's just it's weird not being able to see you guys but it's the fucking summer yeah no it's, it's like I wanted to t I wanted to see you guys so badly like I wanted to hang out with the twins? You remember the fucking twins? Yeah, I remember the twins. No, like it's it's fucking weird because that's how I felt at the beginning of summer. I was like, yeah, it's yeah, summer. we're all gonna we're all gonna hang out. We're all gonna do shit. Nothing fucking happened. And then for three months, we were all just fucking. We just were all busy. We all did shit. Doing shit. I got a job. The one thing is though, like, I was just, I wasn't doing anything. I was just so fucking shocked. I just didn't know what to do. Like. Uh, I didn't know whether or not to focus on, like, real life shit, like, whether or not I should be looking for a job, whether or not I should be focusing on mini-adventure, whether or not I should be hanging out with friends, I just didn't know what to do, so I was just sitting at home playing video games just trying to think, or, like, trying to not think, I it's guess. It's like, with me getting a job, I've kind of, like... Realize I've got to rethink a lot of decisions that I've thought I've made up in my mind. Mm -hmm. Because like I'm really big on friends, and you know, even though I don't have very many, yeah. at least friends that I actually count as friends, aka yeah. you and Shaylee. Um, just like one of the biggest things is like the Air Force or the military. Yeah, it's like I'd love to pr pursue that career, but I'd be lo losing or I'd be leaving. The only two people that I actually care about. Like, you'd be leaving them. Well... Then there's my parents, but you know, they're my parents. I'm always yeah. gonna be there. They're always gonna be there for me. I don't know. It's just a lot of... It's a lot, it's a lot of shit to think about, especially at this age. It's a lot of adult shit. <laughs> yeah! It's I'm almost an adult, worst. too, which is the fucking thing. I'm almost 18. I'd say, like... Well, I guess an adult would be 21, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, technically, like, you are an adult. But, like, you've... If you... Like, by 21, I think you'll at least, at least kind of have a little bit of a track of where you're going. Yeah, true. Because right now, like, the door is just opening for you. Like, there's so many different possibilities, so many different things. Nah, the door's things. not opened. I just kind of walked closer to the door, and I, you know how whenever at you night see like you, a can, little crack? you can see like the l crack of the light around your yeah, door, I could see like, that. I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Whoa. But now there's like three doors, and I'm like, shit. It's like, where? That one's got a red light, that one's got a blue light. <laughs> that one's got a... Is that purple? <laughs> is that purple? Is that, that, that purple? Is that a pizza light? <laughs> hey. That was pizza. That was pizza. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think for me, cause like, for you, like you have a job, like you, you at least know where you're going. Like you have. At least I think I do. <laughs> yeah, you you have a destination. You you have, you know, I have a job. I have money. I have a girlfriend. I have um. I have like fourteen dollars in your bank account money. <laughs> it, fucking more than I got. We got well in bank. You have like ambitions for when to go into the fucking Air Force, work there for four years, get a bunch of money, then fucking build some shit. Do whatever the hell you want. Start your own fucking um what's it called? Business? Yeah. Company. Just I might do making that. Making something. Honestly. Well it's it's a nice thing to think about. But that's like way in the future. 
What if, imagine that. What if I just became like, I started a company, I became like a corporate millionaire. That'd be fucking rad. I still have you as a friend, you're just like a plumber. Dude, I wouldn't... I, I honestly can't even imagine like, hey, what I want to do. What the fuck you want for Christmas? I'll get you fucking like, anything. Like, <laughs> want that new Super Mario game. Alright, there you go. Throw a Subway you. sandwich with extra tomatoes and pickles. <laughs> Alright, you got it. You just hear your window open, you chuck it through the window. <laughs> just breaks through it. Like, oh, no, not again! Oh, <laughs> Subway! <laughs> it's been ten years. It got air delivered. Oh, God. I think that's the one thing I'm really scared about for my future. Hmm. It's just... I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I honestly just don't know. I'm just talking with people and trying to make, like, impressions. Honestly, I'm like... I'm, I'm gonna be straight up right now. Most of the, Like, I'm basically just all talk. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing either. Like, I, I'm like... I, ha I think I have a future, but I'm just like... But that's not really what I want. But that's like the successful future that yeah, I know that will secure like a family and shit. But then money. I'm just like, I want to build some shit and be creative and have fun with what the fuck I'm doing. It just makes me mad. It's like, I want to do this too. I want to make shit and I want to do this. So it just makes me so mad because I know that's not where I'm going right now. Well, the thing is, is I think the way I'd think about it if I were in your shoes, I'd be like... Number one, before anything, money and stability comes first. That's what I would think. Because, like, if you're going through the game of life, you want to play it the smartest way possible, which is what you've been doing. You were in RTC, like, if somebody looks at your fucking military background, they're going to be like, this kid is in RTC, he knows what he's doing, that one weird dip talked to him about it, he told me everything was fucked up at the time, and it was all corrupted. Fuck it. He did the best he could at the time. I, I trust this man. He seems like a good chap. In, 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 the, in the Air Force. Do whatever he wants to fucking do. I don't even... I think they look at the background that deep, but I don't think they do. Well... All they want are some, some, some strong, trustworthy boyos. I'll go into the space corps. I wanna be in a NASA. Huh? Shoot me into that giant moon. Honestly, if the space corps is founded by then, I might consider joining the space corps. Come sp I'll be on Mars. I'ma be the first person on Mars. I'm a <gasps> <laughs> Cody Chavez, this is one big red foot. <laughs> and I'ma kick some dirt at your face. Come on, let's go, boy. <laughs> I'm just dead. <coughs> oh, you need to breathe? Too bad. Here's some red dust. <laughs> just floating off into space and you're like, It's Matthew? Bye. Where are you going? Bye. You going home? <laughs> you going home? I just catch on fire. <laughs> Sorry, I, I tried to do a joke, but it fucked everything up royally. Um. Shit. Uh. Like, I don't know. I like I like talking to people about what they think that their future is gonna be like, like what they want their future to be. Just be a podcast channel. <laughs> to be honest, honestly, like, have some like podcast episodes, get some people on, be like, fuck yeah, what do you sound, want? To sounds cool, but like, I don't know. It, Mini Adventure has been a Let's Play channel for so fucking long. It would be really difficult, I think, to just immediately switch to being a podcast. <gasps> you know, well, we could I, do. I know that would be difficult, but like. You know how many Let's Play channels are out there? There's a fuck ton. But I mean, there's a fuck ton of everything out there, but... You know what we could do? Instead of on Wednesdays having it just be a random game, we could just do a podcast. It's or... Hard to keep up, but we could do even, even more than that, we could do Friday and Thursday. If, if, if we really like doing podcasts. But the thing is, I think after a little bit, we'd like run out of ideas. But, like, I don't know. We could probably, like, look up something on Twitter. Or if we get, like, a little bit more popular, like, with our merch selling, then, um... Oh, fuck. I forgot to plug <gasps> plug our merch. 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 We have merch in the description of this video. Please, please get our merch. I am probably made a thing in the very beginning. Here, I'll, I'll make it right now. 
Hello, welcome to Mini Adventures. This is a podcast episode. Please, before you watch this episode, go look into the description. We have Mini Adventure jackets, Mini Adventure shirts, Mini Adventure sticker. Um, we have a sticker? Yeah, there is a sticker. Shh, dude, this is a commercial. You're not supposed to be able to talk. Anyway. Shit. Damn it, Cody, you ruined it. <laughs> um, fuck, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, we try to make it as cheap as possible, uh, but fucking blah, blah, blah. 25% of it is going to be going to the YMCA Strong Kids Charity. Fucking amazing charity. Help those YMCA little baby boys and baby girls. Go buy it. All right, back to the podcast. That was our mid-roll ad. <laughs> Cause we ain't fucking getting ads on any of our Sponsored videos. Sponsored me. Sponsored by myself. Ourselves. Shake that hand. Copyright. <laughs> copyright strike. Um shit, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, I, I like talking to people about their futures. Because it not only do I learn a lot more about the person and like their ambitions in life. But I, I can also have, like, some idea of what I want to do. Because I, like, at least you have two routes. One is, like, well, there's multiple routes. Like, who the fuck knows? But, like, you have two major ideas in your head of this is the way I know if I go this way, it'll Ooh. turn out good. And this is the, like, risky path, but I'm doing what I'd love. And there's, there's so many ways that that could work out. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm just completely fucked. Like, I'm just... There's so many things that I want to do. There's just so many things I could do. I don't know. I could be a graphic designer. I could be a construction worker like my mom wants me to be. I could work with my dad at Cisco. Fucking, I don't know. There's just so much shit. To work at Walmart for the rest of your life, boy. <laughs> making eleven dollars an hour for twenty-four years. Apparently, after six months, it bumps up to twelve dollars an hour. Damn. That's extra, twelve months. That's an extra fourteen dollars. Wait, 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 extra eight dollars a day. Extra fifty-six times two, a hundred and twelve dollars a week. I think I'll find there are something. Two weeks. I think I'll find something better from from Walmart. Yeah, probably. Walmart can use a starter job. Fucking, I hope it'll. I hope it'll be a good starter job for me. That like really, one of the only things I'm focusing on right now. It's gonna put some meat on your bones. I can tell you that much. I got flabby. <laughs> oh. No, you're flabby too. Yeah, I got, I'm mostly flab. I'm back flabbing. To this bunch of blubber. I'm flabbing boner. Boner. Boner cast. I don't want to go back to school. The thing is, I want to go back to school to hang out with my friends every day. That's the one thing I love about school. Dude, fucking hang out with us during lunch. Huh? It's gonna be a mixture of hanging out with y'all and hanging out with my girlfriend. Hell yeah, dude. Of course you're gonna be hanging out with Shelby. 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 Shelly Bell. Dude, bro, you watching this, dude? Shell, Shell Belly? Shelly Belly? No. No Shelly Belly? No. She's ticklish? She's pretty ticklish, I'll tell you. <laughs> you poke her the wrong way, she'll laugh. She just immediately she hates, stabs you. She hates whenever mad people tickle her. Mad people? It's no, whenever you tickle her, she hates it. Because oh. she's so ticklish. I thought you said I, I hate whenever man people. She hates whenever man people tickle her, and I was like, man people. Nah, her two best friends are like this big guy named Kenneth and uh, another guy named Jack. Kenneth and Jack are gay couple. Mm. <laughs> Funny you say that. They're not a gay couple, but like everybody thinks they're gay because they always hang out together. I've been there. Fucking Rosa. Oh yeah, I understand that. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Man. You know, you remember whenever you were talking to me downstairs, you were like, Matthew, 
whenever like blah 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 like blah 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 you were talking about how like, freshman year like I was just not RTC and I was all in my shell and then like I started hanging out with cool people and they kinda came out of my shell a little bit mm -hmm. and I stopped wearing my jacket I'm still wearing my jacket. Jacket was my show, that's why I stopped wearing it. Now I don't wear it.